Hey guys, so today we will present you another day of going for a manage bot from scratch. So during these few days we run harvest. So I was running harvest with strong boxes. Um we go also for shrines and go for tournament with sense and go for at first I was going for it or for but <coughs> All the mods of the altar were so bad for me, so I just swapped to red altar and awakened section cost so much that I feel like it's almost more worth it to go for red altars. So we go for all the maps, map nodes to get back our maps and as much as possible of map duplicate. We go for all the Harvest points, except for the chance of harvest because we will run the section. And we go for blue and purple plant less grow, so we get more yellow plant, which costs approximately two times more than the others. So we run jungle valley, so we don't have altar of boss because the boss spawn only when you go inside the, the room. And we go for Compass with magic pack size, or you can go an ID pack size. It's better an ID pack size, but I don't really have a lot of an ID maps, so I just do four maps by four maps and I just craft them myself. So I have just an ID map sometimes, so it's better for me magic pack size. I go for Sacred Glove, and for these compacts. Compass, we go for blue or purple crops, which cost approximately 100 chaos. We probably should go for the yellow one, but I don't know if this is worth it because it costs maybe three or four times much because it's like 350 or 400 chaos at the moment. So I feel like it's not really worth it, but you get more yellow and less blues and you get. Only, I don't know, I may maybe try it when I finish this compass. And after that we go for get that compass when we kill an Untermated Betrayer. So, which is broke by Sions with 5 rare mobs. So, we get every maps at least 3 killed, And we get the harvest with a lot of, of juice. So we did play for 13 hours for for this time and we got I will show you here we got ni almost 90k yellow juice, 82k blue juice and 130k red juice because I did first the more red juice and now I'm doing the more blue juice because I just buy them in bulk in, on TFT. We got a lot of Awakened Sexton because when we are doing the map, I will go ma at first for Awakened Sexton and Grand, Grand Eldritch Ember. And after that I go for maybe Quantity or Chaos Orbs and things like that which give us a lot of money and it's pretty cool. Sometimes maps can be really difficult with the the mob the mods on the map like less regen and things like that. But we can break some maps. It's okay. We don't really you know if we lose a map that's decent. We we can't do all maps. That's okay. The maps are pretty fast. I don't think there are not really uh, thirty seconds each, but. I think it's they're like three minutes just because of the harvest, so, and that's a pretty cool strategy. We got a lot of of scarabs, which add up at the end. And I think I will just for the bad gilded scarab, I will just um, change them with the Arctic crafting. So I go for um, scarab here. And you can remove change them for 300 red juice, which is six chaos, I think. And six chaos, yes. And you can go for 
I think some bad are fake 3 or 5 chaos each to good one which are 15 chaos each so you can triple your your money okay and this can be it can add more money from you your loot and your farm so i will just show you a map so for the maps we go for growing all so each scarab that we got just give us back size up instead of the effect of the scarab so we go for rested because they are so cheap so almost like 0 0.5 for Scar, maybe push can be better, but I think just rested are good. We kill a lot too expensive, I think. So just to get double the pack size, so I would just go for four Scarab rested one, and we don't care about about which one. You can just get the cheaper ones. Go for red Searing Arch, and we go for fourteen favors Wraith for ten percent pack size which will scale the harvest. So Jungle Valley is an open layout map, so you can do it also on Crimson Temple, but, and maybe get Mage Bolt card, but I feel like for my build, it's way better to go on Jungle Valley, so I can just go straight to the middle of the map and just one-shot everything. And Crimson Temple, I just hit all walls every time, and that's really... Not good for my sanity, so I just run this map, and I feel like I got a lot of weekend section that cost so much, and every time we got, oh yeah, we got a grand one. So, and if you can get scarab duplicate at, at the start of the map, so you can get double, you get less scarab, so it can be really good sometimes. Grand Edge scarab got really much too, they so cost like 4 chaos, maybe 5 or 6 in bulk so every time you you, had, you hit a good altar you're, you're pretty good cool. and like that I get a double scarab and for the maps you got plenty of them I could get the great DT but target meteor is just too deadly so I don't run it there are some that I don't run, like I could run two 600 chaos damage per when you have a flask up, but it's pretty awful to play. But just do as you build can run. You will see by running them up what you can run. Sometimes you can just run all of them and they won't do anything for your build, so it will be better. But you can also run for the blue influence if your build can run the red influence. The flask charge I can't really put it or I will die. I have a really low filter because I want just to get the Val Orb cheese cell back so I don't have to buy them in bulk. So, resistances are pretty awful too on the Arta, but. I don't really get it, and either way, if I get it, I, I, I die, so that's okay if I get just less resistances. But be careful if you add up like minus resistances and burning around and things like that. Less regen on your maps, it can really be deadly at one time, so just know when to stop putting altars or maybe just put them at the end when you go in inside the. The harvest. So, as you can see, maps are uh, pretty chill. I just point and click for the loot on the floor, and everything died because I'm. I have a good will, but I feel like sometimes my build must have more damage, but that's okay. Um, remember uh, to put a portal in the harvest because. Sometimes they are pretty deadly and just can one shot you. Sometimes there is combination of of monster with affixes that you can't run for me. When they have the bubble with haste with everything, <laughs> I can't really run them. So sometimes I'll just break the harvest like that, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world, so 
we don't really put like 5 D on each map, so losing one each like each 20 or 30 it's okay for me. And because we break them, we just get a lot more loot due to putting a lot of altar, so get more loot for, for more altar, but with that we lose some time team up, so it's okay like that. If you want to never lose your map, just pick your altars and not clicking on every, every altar that you see. So it will be much easier, but you get a bit less in return, so it's as you as you feel it's good for you because dying is pretty awful I know and I have a lot of altars on this map so everything is just one shotting me but as you can see I, each time I kill a monster I have a lot of life force so it's okay for me so I will just finish this map and And it will be good for me. Um, so we are almost at the third of the Mage Blood right now. So I will probably go to 100, maybe 90 Divine after finish Harvest. So I will probably go for another strategy which involves a lot of investment. So. I want to do 10 hours of farming with 2 or 3 divine per hour, so I will go for the mage world faster. And we we'll try to hit the mage world in one or in 3 or 4 episodes more, I think. 3 or 4 more episodes. So as you can see, we got like rounded chaos of juice, and we get 4 scarabs, which are let's say 5 chaos each. So we have 120 and we got that which is almost 50 chaos with that that here so it's math if you have good altars we get like one divine and we invest like almost half a divine each map so we get back our investment almost almost every time so it's just free money and free everything and shield to do you can do everything yeah on your second monitor or your phone when you do that so chain, ga chain gameplay so that's cool I'll just continue a bit and finish all my sextant and after that I will change strategy I don't really know what to go then I, I will probably go for maven strategy for invitation I don't know maybe form or conqueror I don't know we'll see so see you bye bye guys